Okay, Cartooning with Carl, and we're going to cover doing a mushroom today. Alright, now, <clears throat> just follow along. I've done a mushroom. A mushroom was fairly easy to do. And we're going to demonstrate colors today. We're going to be using some Prisma colors, um, these markers to do the coloring with. Alright, and basically, I'm just going to come and I want to get. The structure down here. This is just the trunk. Alright. And I'm going to throw in a couple of rocks in here. Alright. Okay. And I'm going to just give him a little nose. down here and get my eye over there. Right. Okay, now I want to give him his lid. Okay, and there we go. All right, we have the basics for our mushroom. All right, now um, what we're gonna do here now is we are going to go ahead and come in with some color. All right, and. I want to start with a sand here. Okay. And when you use Prisma colors, um, you pretty much want to use the broad tip because it's going to act more like a paintbrush. What Prisma colors are are an alcohol based ink or acrylic ink um, type of a brush. Um, and when you when you press down it releases the alcohol and the and the pigment and it has a smaller end but you wouldn't want to paint with a smaller end okay um, it takes a minute to get used to prisma colors as they they do bleed quite a bit and uh, since I'm not using Bristol this will this will bleed quite a bit I do have a piece of paper under here to help with that um, if you put a piece of paper under your drawing, it will help um, decrease some of the bleeding. But it's still going to bleed. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm drawing on a drawing board. And if I did not have that paper under there, it would bleed right through onto the drawing board. Um, and it also would bleed more um, but sometimes I can help you if you have a pen that's a bit dry and you can um, you can squeeze some pigment out of it where is it you know it appears to be dry but if you put it if you take the piece of paper from under the board so that it doesn't soak it up it can actually you know help you um, get pigment out of that brush or out of that not the brush, but that of that, that particular hand. Okay. And Prisma colors can be very versatile. Um, you can blend them. I mean, you can you can do realistic artwork with them if you know what you're doing. Um, I'm not that type of a artists, so I just stick mostly to cartoons. Um, on the proper paper, Prismacolors can be done in such a way that they don't streak very much, or at all even. 
Okay, that's just getting the. That's just a matter of getting the pigment saturated into the into the fibers of the paper. Okay, as you can see, I uh, saturated that pretty well. All right, and. Now we're going to come in and we're going to get the eyes here. And I'm using a spring green there. All right, and I'm going to come back with the apple green. I'm going to just hit the top of it, just the top, and it'll give it just a little bit of blend, just a little bit of blend, okay? <clears throat> now, um, the reason I like the Prismacolors is it has a lot of skin tones, um, a lot of beiges and, and, you know, sand, peach, no colors like that. This is a brick beige. And I'm also going to use this brick beige underneath here. Alright, this one appears to be a bit of a dry prism marker, just a little bit dry. But I'm just going to press down and get the pigment out. Um, when, it, when it's dry, you want to just slow down a bit with your strokes. And get, those, get that pigment out of there. And you can come back and forth and just lay down layers. Okay. Kind of like that. Alright, I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to use this brown here. This is a sienna brown. I'm going to get that rock right there. Alright. And I'm going to come back and use my sand for this rock. Right, and we're just kind of separating the rock colors. Okay, and I'm also going to use the sand for the top of the mushroom. I'm going to just take my time here on this outline, do the best I can, okay. And then I'm going to just come back and fill it in. Okay, it's time to make a video right now, okay?
Alright, that was my little son. Coming in. Upstairs eating breakfast. Told him not to bother me doing my video. Apparently he didn't listen. But you know how children are. They're very curious. I'm actually having some problems with with this. I'm going to remove the paper from the back so you can kind of see. This will kind of pick up a little bit there. And this marker is on its last leg. It's drying out right here before me. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to finish this up with the little mushroom circles. And we'll come back and we're gonna come back and put in the green for the grass and this will be finished up. Here, why not? Alright, I'm gonna come back in with my green here for the grass. can call this one done. Okay. Thanks for joining me for this installment of Cartooning with Carl. And I will see you all in the next video.